everybody, welcome back to Anderton's TV. Pete and I are here today <laughs> to tell you about these East Coast guitars. Um, last year, and in fact still in that, our catalogue, uh, we did some amazingly affordable guitars called the ST1 and ST2 and the T1. Yep, there's a video up there uh, of us playing them probably last year. Um, Same time. Yep, around yeah. about the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, links will be below to go check those out. They're amazing. They're all around about the £100 mark, and then you can buy them in these bundles. Great way to start playing guitar. Uh, but we were talking to the guys that build uh, the East Coast guitars and saying, you know, can we do something a bit more uh, deluxe? Not crazy, uh, more expensive, but we've now got the ST Deluxe and the TL Deluxe. I love um, it. I love it. Yep, uh, these are going to retail on their own for about £150 each with bundles including amplifiers and all the other accessories you need to get started, starting from about £200. Um, but first of all, we're going to dive in to the ST Deluxe in all of its wonderful colours and maybe have a little jam, right uh, Pete? Uh, Let's yes, do that. Yes. Three, two, one. <clears throat> That wasn't your usual dad rock chord no, progression. No, that was like, we'll a, that was like more like mum's rock, wasn't it? <laughs> so, so, before, before we start, please like and subscribe. You can win some stuff. It's yes, here, do. Right there, so win. Please, like, yeah. If it's your first time watching yeah. this channel, yes, Welcome. we give away quite Welcome. expensive prizes to all of our subscribers uh, every time we hit a certain milestone of subscribers. You could be the first subscriber or the last one. You're in the hat uh, and you might win something. In the hat. But, okay, so ST Deluxe We've got six different beautiful colours that you can see across us here. We'll yes. put links to all of these below, but we've got a Absolutely. vintage white, sort of a pale blue, black, beautiful red, kind of a pinky Pink. coral kind oh, of colour. Yes. And I can't even see that one. Oh, sunburst. Sunburst, at the end. yeah. Yes. Sunburst. Um, sunburst. As I said at the beginning of this video, this guitar, if you buy it on its own, is £149. Yep. Uh, or you can buy it with some packs with these amplifiers here and all the other accessories that you need to get going. And those prices start from about £199. And this is our kind of deluxe end of the East Coast packs. So again, there are cheaper ones if you want. Yeah. So what's the difference here? Because I can see there's some other bits and pieces that I don't recognise from the other ones. That yes, we indeed. So I guess visually the most a striking difference will be this new caramelized sort of like roasted maple mm. style neck which yeah. is rather beautiful gives it that sort of darker tint with the yeah. uh, roasted maple fretboard as well yeah we've got a slightly more contemporary that's what uh, I was carve on, on the heel joint here yeah. so reminiscent of some of the sort of higher end um, uh, sort of you know more modern strats that are out there and a little cut here as well isn't it There's yeah like a little spoon so cut on the back the of the, the cutaway which kind of mm. makes access up here a little bit uh, smoother feeling that we've got a, a, a hss pickup configuration so two single coils and a humbucker a nice easy I know, access I saw that. uh truss rod adjustment here yep. uh, a dual pivot dual fulcrum sorry tremolo system here but with vintage saddles okay. on it coil tap switch for the humbuckers mm -hmm. uh i mean Basically, it's a great guitar, not too heavy. No. Um, and yeah, as Pete wants to take us through some of the I can, tones, I, can I should do that. tell you, amps wise, we've actually refreshed the East Coast amp range for 2022 mm -hmm. as well. So if you do end up watching some of the videos that we had in 
2020 or 2021 for some of the East Coast packs. Uh, these will be the new amps that they come with. So we've got a little 10 watt here in the middle, which is smaller than we've ever done before with East Coast. 15 watt with reverb, which is a re pretty much a direct replacement for what we had before, but yeah. now has a spring reverb yeah, in it spring rather reverb. than a digital one. Uh, and uh, over here is a new Big Daddy. So we've now got a 35 watt one, bigger speaker, um, dual channel, same as the 15. Effects, Effects loop. loop. I know we've really gone for it here. So anyway, you can buy these amps on their own again. We'll put the links below. Or these are the amps that are with all the packages. Um, yes. Headphone sockets on all yeah. of them to keep you sane whilst your little ones are making a racket. Um, <laughs> Actually, you're hearing these today as well. We've, we've used microphones close up on the amplifiers. Yeah. Um, Get a bit it's of not of always it. the best recording technique for sort of little amplifiers like these. So we're also recording the whole room using a couple of mics that you can't see. Just about, about 200 mics just to find yeah, one. Absolutely. That's good. Um, so Pete, give yeah. us some tones out of your little uh, 15 watt amplifier. Absolutely. So, you know, not, you see the little switch here that's to split this pickup. I'll I'll come. To, I'll explain that when I come when I come to this pickup. Five-way selector, volume, tone, tone, and I'm in position four, five here, which is the top one up there. So, just do that reverb. It's great, isn't it? It's a proper. If I turn it up and I do this. Yeah, it's a the old one I think had like a more of a digital echo in it, which yeah. was hard to get like a reverb effect out of it. This is like proper old school reverb now. Middle posi uh, position with these two together. There you go, with Dustin May I think. And middle position. So here we go. I'm going to go with these two pickups together now. And now I'm going to uh, flick this little switch here, and that will split this pickup into half of the pickup with this one still on. If that makes sense. Yep. Uh, and then I can then go to that, to the first position and go back to here. And I've got the full pickup going on here. So I'm do that with some gain, because that always sounds kind of well, like... Well, we I can try it. And then I can split that by flicking this little switches, just this pickup in the back section of it, if you will. This is the full pickup. Mm -hmm. Something like that anyway. Cool, so that's the ST Deluxe. Uh, hopefully you've spotted a color that you like. Which one is your um, favorite? Um, I think the one actually you're holding is This one is good, isn't it? Favorite. It's like a bit of a tail uh, or, and, or, or the one it? I'm holding, or in yeah. fact, the red one. Yeah, uh, I like the white one too. Yeah. Now we are going yes. to click our fingers and by the magic of YouTube editing, you will see the TL Deluxe range. <laughs>
Okay, back in the room. Ah, right. Back yes. in the room. Okay, so this we are I calling love the TL Deluxe. Uh, you can work out where that comes from. Um, this has a, a, some of some similarities with the ST Deluxe. So we've got again this caramelized roasted maple neck, which is rather mm, lovely. Caramelized. Uh, we've got again the sort of more contemporary heel joint and extra spoon cut here. Um, we've mm -hmm. got the truss rod adjustment in the sort of easy access bottom of the neck. After that, it gets a bit more traditional. So we've got a traditional T-style bridge mm -hmm. here, single coil here, but a P90 here for a bit of fatness. Um, yeah. Do you know what we didn't do in the first jam here was kind of demonstrate maybe what this amp sounded like and also what the overdrive in the amps yes. sounded well, why like. Why don't you do a little talk um, on this one now? Okay, so this is the 35, so it's a slightly yeah. larger speaker than you get in the 15. Um, and I don't think any of the knobs are different. No, we've got they? middle, treble and bass on there. I, Same think as I, have, yours. I have got a totally separate clean and overdrive channel, whereas I think oh, yours is like an yeah, overdrive yeah, mode, yeah, 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 yeah. So we're going to start with the uh, neck position, which nice. is the P90, into the clean channel of the amplifier. Uh, both pickups together. to play the chords in. Sounds uh, good, man. Bridge pickup. We've got a volume and tone here. It does what um, they do. They do what they do. Over on the amplifier, again, all of these amps have got like a drive mode. So you click it in and then you've got some overdrive on here. That whole jam that we just did, I used the drive in the amp rather than a separate pedal. It's great, man. I, I really liked the drive channel. The, 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 on the, the new amps from last year, yeah. The improvements I was trying to get on the on the amps was all on the drive channel, uh, and I really think they, that this particular new design is is definitely smoother sounding. I, Sounds good. I did have on the floor, and again, if you're this is your first guitar and you want to go on that journey, pedals are amazing. Pedals do all the kind of cool effects like echo and more distortion and chorusy stuff. So yeah, on the floor down here, I've got a little delay pedal and a little distortion pedal that I was using from time to time, so I can get kind of sound. So that, if you're interested, is a, a, a TC Flashback Mini and a Tone City Blues Man yeah, Drive. Man. Uh, the Good. other one I've got, by the way, if you're going, what's the other one? It's a, just a tuner pedal, which is great. Uh, everybody needs a tuner. Absolutely. Um, and again, you know, you might want to use those pedals over the top of the driven channel so you can get... <laughs> You can put the delay in the effects loop like the pros do. You Some certainly could do. So that's the TL Deluxe. So we just have a listen to this really yep, quick on the overdrive setting here. Uh, so here's the clean for this uh, little 15 watt. Uh, it's a bit of reverb there. And I have to flick this little switch to get the drive on. It's just fast it juicy. Great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can also have got a pedal as well, the Durple Tone City 40 quid. Sounds very much like the the driving. Yeah. 
So it's great. Again, if you, it's if this great. Is, you know, love it. If you're new to the electric guitar and you think, so which one do I need? And why haven't you plugged the little one in the middle? The little one where actually that only comes with some of the cheaper guitars in the packs. Um, I think, you know, without being unfair to the, the little amplifier here, the only reason you'd buy this one is if you're really trying to keep the budget down yeah. to a, a minimum. It's got so a you tiny can get, speaker, isn't it? I think this amp with some of the uh, guitars I talked about earlier on, the ST1 and the T1, yep. you can get a pack with this for, for um, under 150 pounds, which is which is fantastic. Yeah. Uh, the 15 and the 35 are the ones that um, we're doing with uh, pretty much all the guitars in the range. There's certainly these deluxe versions here. 15 watts is it's it's funny actually these are deceptively loud i think if in you really room. really turn them up in a small room yeah so my i mean certainly when i was um learning to play guitar at school i had a little 15 watt amplifier that i could at my brother played drums and i could absolutely we could be in a bedroom we could have the yeah, thing yeah. that was just screaming loud and you could hear it just about over a drum kit and then if i was at school again you, I did use it in a school hall and stuff, but it, it got a bit lost in amongst the sort of the whole sound of everything. Yeah. The 35, it's not gigantically louder than the 15. You, you might think 35 watts, surely that's at least twice as loud as a 15 watt, but amps, power ratings don't really work quite like that. No. So it's a little bit louder, but what's nice about it is the bigger cabinet, the bigger speaker and the extra power. Just give it a fatter sort of nicer bass end. It's good. Um, so these are all really, you know, these are all amps that you would have learning to play rather than gigging amplifiers. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, they're great. They look cool as well, I like the silver grill. Um, yeah, they've got a bit of a that old school, uh, you know, which amp we're talking about here when we're looking look, at the top fat so, knots and then the... By all well, means, if uh, you've got any questions about uh, what you need to learn to play the guitar, we've got blogs on the website, which you can find up below. Um, hopefully the, the videos help you as well. And of course, we have a shop and a whole team of uh, people there to answer your questions. People. So you can come to the store, or you can I phone like up these, or man. email in and they'll they'll get in touch with you. But I just really like these. For, really the, like you know, this. For, 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 the, for the end jam, Pete, I guess we'll stay with a T-style. I'll go back I to a strap. I probably will. We'll, we'll do something as an end jam. But before we jam out, I just want to say, mm. again, if you're thinking about learning to play the guitar yourself or you're thinking about getting one of your kids to, to learn to play the guitar, please just do it. It's just about the best, most fulfilling thing you can possibly yeah. do in your life. Um, so much fun. Doesn't have to be crazy expensive. Um, and, you know, it's, a, it's just a life-changing thing. So please do. It's awesome. It is. So there you go. Please like, subscribe. Links for everything is below. And, you know, you can win a clone up there, even if you just start it out. You know, <laughs> a 4,000 pound pedal to use with your 150 why not? pound guitar. Why not? Pack. Or why, you, not? You, you, why not? Why not? I'll talk to you. See you soon. <laughs>